I am in a little slice of geologic heaven called Woodall Shoals, right on the border between South Carolina and Georgia on the Chattooga River. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. So Woodall Shoals is thought to have had about seven different fold generations that can be seen in the rocks here. We're standing right in the nose of one of them where the rocks come down and around here and then flatten off in this direction there. Here one of the amphibolite boudins is trapped in the nose of the fold and itself is actually folded right over. If we follow this limb around here, it bends around and comes back. Right over here, there's another set of folds. can be seen. It's down in the water here. Nice isoclinal folds. There's an M shape or W, I guess, if you're looking at it this way. And there are little parasitic folds on the limbs. And here is yet another set of folds pervasive throughout the foliation in this rock. There's a lot of evidence for stretching. We can see materials stretched out. We've got nice boudins formed in a lot of places. The amphibolites commonly are stretched out in boudins. Here's another one there. The amphibolites also record the earliest and first full generation, which are these seen here. It's actually interrupted here by this other feature coming down. But this is the first and earliest full generation known in these rocks. Isoclinal folds within the boudins themselves. Here's another one of these boudins you can see made of amphibolite that are all stretched out in between the rest of the gneiss. Here's an example of another one of these amphibolite boudins that show stretching in each direction. They've been pinched out completely. If you follow this layer along in this direction, you'll see several others if you get up close. The story goes that Mr. Woodall was a logger and this part of the river, he could not get his logs down the river. So he decided that over on this other side up here, he would dynamite the channel, blast it out, made it more narrow, but also deeper so the logs could flow downward. So this is the side of the Chattooga River where Mr. Woodall did his dynamiting. On the other side, is Georgia and we're on the South Carolina side here.
So this is Woodall Shoals. I bring my students out here and they've got an assignment to do where they're looking for geologic features, mainly structural features, and they're photographing those features and they're annotating those features. And that way they can tell me that they know what they're looking at.